Hello and welcome my dear air signs. So this is for the air signs um, Aquarius, Gemini and Libra. So this is for, for you guys. We're looking at the air signs and what, you are, what you're watching here is a six months reading um, that sort of goes from the end of the first week in July 2023 to the end of the first week of January 2024. Um, if you are familiar with the channel, you will notice that I normally do not do, I haven't done a future readings in quite some time. This is just coming here to you simply because we have, a, a, we're in an era um, where we have four super moons in a row. Therefore, the energy is easier to sort of reach. And um, hence my guides ask me to do this for you. So let's have a look. Hmm? Anyone? Let's see what we got. I need some space here, sweetie. We will begin eventually. <laughs> you like that? Sorry. It's not easy when you have a cat, apparently. Let me just put the energy down here for the air signs. Well, you're really in the way. Okay, so anyway, this is for, for the air signs. This is your six months reading. What uh, is, is going to happen is the outgoing energy, which means where you will be in the next or in six months time, if that makes sense, towards the end or where you're going from here is to a time of strength and nurturing. The outgoing energy that you have is the number 29. 9 and 2 is 11. 11 is the highest master number there is. And so, and the, and the term here is nurture. So what you can expect is whatever it is you're going through will lead to a time of nurturing in the time of understanding, you will be in your full power. Now, here's what needs to happen to reach that stage. Hence, a six months reading. Right now, you're being asked to be as authoritative, is that a word, as you can possibly be, right? Be in charge, be in control, watch what it is you want to do and manifest nothing else, right? Because you have the 10th house and authority and then you have the number 48. 8 and 4 is 12. We're dividing it 1 and 2 is 3. 3 is the number of progression. Bottom line is, in order for you to get to a new beginning, to get to a place where you're really like, wow, feel like a rock star here, um, you have to first allow yourself to make claims, bold claims at that. So your job is to right now take stock, where am I, and then say, I'm not having it. I will go and pressure forward. I know what I want. I know who I am, and I'm going to get it. Here's the thing. You have, obviously, this is, this is six months, right? So the idea would be that this is your three months line, sort of the middle of this energy here. Um, and then we're moving into um, the, the six months thingy bob. What you have is solar flares in the middle. Now, the idea is that, that we're all bombarded because the, the sun is bombarded by solar flares and these solar flares affect um, your, or the Earth's magnetic field and therefore also your aura. And what you're being asked is when things get difficult, when the going gets tough, the tough get going, that's what I'm getting. <laughs> when you reach the three months line, three and a half months line actually, um, you will very likely come to a point where you feel a bit exhausted and where things are a bit more difficult. But all you're being asked is to activate your, your shield. So obviously the Earth has a magnetic field which actually helps with um, protecting us from solar flares. And therefore what you need to activate is self-love. Right? So you are now looking at what do I want to what do I want to, to change? What is it I want? What are the changes I want I want to happen that that I can um, manifest 
happening in the next six months and then understanding that with that knowledge and that energy and that manifestation um, you will notice that, that it will take you know three to three and a half months for for these um, thoughts to be translated and then manifested and brought to fruition if that makes sense so as you can imagine here this is a six months reading and 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 the point here is that um, when it comes to three and a half months from now um, you need to you need to claim space you need to claim strength you need to literally switch on that light that you're hoping is somewhere at the end of the tunnel um, there's a light switch halfway halfway through you will find it um, so what is needed from you is is um, awareness and um, and don't don't forget to self empower your way and yourself now here's the thing the the bottom line here is about how and what how to respond to these changes that makes sense and um, you are already in the pinnacle so in in your birth chart in astrology you have the birth chart and then if you would divide it in the middle right so the middle line this would be your mid haven um, also highlighted as MC on on your chart the point is your midpoint energetically speaking that you can already feel as you get going is that you're already going um, going into ending something the point the guides are making is right now not in three months not in six months right now as you're moving towards the the the, the autumn of the year if that makes sense right uh, and even late summer of the year um, look at what isn't working make changes because the number here for your midhaven is the number 36 3 and 6 is 9 9 is the number of completion whatever you can let go right now it's a matter of reflecting you know is it worse struggling here is that worse my while that sort of energy is coming up um, and should you then need to leave something or someone or company relationship whatever this is um, go for it right life continues so don't feel and don't allow yourself to be trapped right if that makes sense which also has to do with your very first energy which is the energy of being an authority right be in charge you got this when it then comes to the midline where you have to find your mojo um, activate your own strengths be the light you want to see happening in the world if that makes sense um, we have some energy here called transits which means as as the universe moves there's energy like climate changes if that makes sense that can um, that can affect energy quite a bit and the point is that midway halfway through again I said that already you know three and a half months into the journey from now until January 2024 um, <coughs> you probably should um, manifest or at least not manifest maybe you just put it in <coughs> even if you have to force it it would be good uh, speaking from from now on to the next three and a half to four months to have a break really really important and what I'm getting is, is a minimum of 10 days for you to recharge your battery stronger than if you would just take a five-day break right I'm also getting to to have that break on your own so um, if you're saying oh I'm going with my best friend to another country that's not necessarily wrong but you have to then make sure should you travel with a, with a companion of sorts um, to have some me time there right really really important and also what I'm getting is there's a reason why in my vision you're on your own is because people advise you from their point of view and they really know fake all about you so they can't really advise you they mean well they're not bad people but they're not you so that is important when it then comes to the end of the six months journey for um, you 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 lovely air signs you will be at a point of new beginnings you will be at a point of nurturing you will be at a point of really feeling absolutely awesome right I'm going somewhere but once you reach the end of the six months and you feel like wow I have made a lot of progress I've also have made a lot of change you need to also understand that what isn't happening here remember they talked about a 10-day break and that is not even enough for you to 
to take a breather. Ultimately, when it comes to the end of the first week in January, at the latest, um, you will notice that you're in a much better place, but you also then have to digest what happened on this journey. So again, it is next to the to the to the ten day break energy here. Um, you would do very well at the beginning of the new year, twenty twenty four, um, to really look into what can I do to recharge my batteries really, really massively um, to go forth into your so called future with a much higher energy than you have at this point in time. Okay, air signs. That is your six months reading with myself, Thomas. You're like you're watching Thomas' Tower readings. Please like, subscribe, and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Um, thank you so much. That's all I got. See you soon.